This video was published by mbkpinternational.com. This video we're going to talk about our guillotine EC19 Pro version 2 paper cutter. And if you're getting F3 or F4 sensor faults or your blades stopping, here's how it's supposed to work here. The blades in the top position, you push and hold these buttons. It stops for a second at the bottom and then goes back to the top and stops at the top. And that's a perfect cut there. That's how it's supposed to, but if the blade were to go down and go too far and come back up a little bit and then go back down and come back that way, then, then the sensor could be misadjusted. Or if the blade goes up too far and comes back down a little bit or doesn't go up far enough on its way back up, this could be your sensor as well that we're going to be looking at as far as adjustments and stuff. Okay, um, let's go back. To, I'll give you a few examples here. Come back back. You'll need to take this tape off to check your blade's positioning sensor, and that's that right there blade positioning sensor. And these are your metal tabs that, that go between these sensors. You can see how they go. You want to make sure you check this and you got a sensor here and this tab goes right between the middle right in the middle of it and it needs to go at least halfway there you know you don't want this to go so far that it hits the end here so you want to make sure it's not hitting the end there but you want to make it at least halfway in it if not three quarters and that's this tab as well. When I push cut what happens is this rotates and this this will move around rotate around and go and as soon as it goes into here it will stop it will know to, the blade will know to stop that's when the blades in the down position and then it will reverse and come back and this one will be this one will be down here at that time since this one turned this one will turn and as this is coming back it will sense it and as soon as it senses it stops this one goes a little bit past it because just momentum carries it past this one stops right on a dime right in it because it's hitting the red cut pad when it goes into there now i'll have him just um at a little bit of an angle here, just like that, like that, maybe. And you can just watch it, I'll do a cut. And you can see how it's supposed to operate. I'm gonna push the cut buttons. The blade just hit the button. Just stop it. And that's how it's supposed to go. So when you're back here, this thing is gonna, when you're looking at it from the back, this thing's gonna travel clockwise. This will go, move, they'll both move at the same time, but this one will move and it will stop in there. And when it comes back, this one will be down here at the time and it'll come back and it'll stop when it goes to there. Now you can adjust these if they're going too far, but let me give you some things. If you're getting F3, F4 sensor fault, this could this wire could be messed up or it could be unplugged here, or this sensor could be bad. I'll give you an example. If this, this is just unplugged, we'll do a cut up front here and I'll show you what it does. Give you examples of what things what happens when things are off, like that's unplugged right now. It doesn't know where to stop. And it just keeps going up and down and it'll eventually error out F4. Okay, now let's plug it back in. Okay, and if you're having that problem, a lot of times just unplugging it and plugging it back in, making sure these wires ain't backing out. There's four wires to it, making sure they're not backing out. So I'm just gonna start the cut over again. It's kind of in the middle right now, but I can go ahead and reverse it to the top instead. Now it should do what it's supposed to again now. Stop for one second at the bottom. Yeah. Since that's normal there. Now there's other problems that could happen. You could have these metal tabs could be loose and they could be hanging here. So let's give you an example of what would happen if that was the case. So I'm going to loosen this one up. If you ever mess with these, just take a picture beforehand if you're just so you know where they were at originally because See, like now, it's, when this thing spins around, this is just going to hang there like that. It's never going to go between that, so it's never going to know when to stop on the way back up. And we'll show you what happens there if it's if you're having an uh, issue similar to this. It will notice where to stop, but when it comes back up, it doesn't know where to stop. So it just eventually airs out F3. Okay, and let's um, fix that one back to where approximately where... I think it was about like right there. I'm just guessing right now and I can adjust it later. This is an eight millimeter wrench for these. A lot of times you just want to check these and, and go up and down and just make sure they're tight and they don't move. And if, if they do, you, you can tighten. A lot of times you got to hold them when you tighten these because they'll move when you when you tighten it. Like sometimes they will, but that one didn't. But um, anyway, eight millimeter wrench if you ever need to do these. A lot of times if you need to move them one way or the other, just tap on them a little bit up or down with like a screwdriver handle or something like that they'll move a little bit and you don't even necessarily have to loosen those okay we've seen that what happened when that one's loose let me show you what happens when this one's let me just make sure i got it right first it's 
pretty close. Could have went up just a little bit higher. But um, now I'll do this one. If this one came loose, just hanging there like that, so it's not going to spin around now. And you show them back there when it's not so, so, so that thing they will go through. Then you can come, you can see how it's not spinning, and come forward here and, and finish it up here. So it's just going to keep going up and down because it doesn't know where to stop. You know, it's just going up and down, and it's just going in a circle when it doesn't stop at the bottom. It's supposed to stop at the bottom for one second, then reverse itself and come back up. And that one was an F4, I believe, sensor fault. Now, yes, F4. I think I'm just guessing on this again, so I probably won't get it right. Let's just try this real quick. Let's see where I'm at. I'm going to reverse it. The top one should be pretty close. See? It went too far. Now I'm going to show you that again. It's going too far. It needs to be adjusted, and that's if it's way off, it will go. It won't stop when it's supposed to. It will go all the way around and come back up a little bit and stop, and then it will reverse itself and go back the other way, because that tab is way off. It goes down, doesn't stop, comes back up, and then, then it reverses itself, goes back down, and goes the other way. So it's just going too far. It's allowing the blade to go in a full circle too far all the way back up. And this is the one, so see it's hanging down there now. This hat, when I push cut, this goes all the way around and the blade doesn't stop until it goes between there and it senses it. So it's taken too long to get there because it went in a full circle and it, and it went past the cut pad and back up some. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this closer. It goes in a clockwise, so the closer you move it this way, the more you move it clockwise, the sooner it will sense it and the sooner it will stop, the sooner the blade will stop. So I'm going to move this clockwise, kind of like that, so it's going to sense the blade a lot sooner now, and it should stop sooner. I don't know if I got it perfect yet, but we'll see. It did a little bit of a double pump there. It went, it went and came back up just a little bit, and then, it, and then it reversed itself, so it hit it again. So I'll show it to you one more time. It goes a little bit too far. Kind of, uh, 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 just, so it's going a little bit too far, so it needs to come to it a little bit closer. So I'm going to move this a little bit closer to this tab. It goes around in here, so I need to move it up to where it gets there sooner. But it's still going just a hair too far. Let me loosen this. So, there we go. It doesn't take much on something like that. Okay, let's check that out. It there it hit right on the button it stopped fully and to the cut pad and then it came up it's normal stopping for one second then reversing itself so that was perfect there if and this is an adjustment you could do also if your blades not cutting all the way through the paper you know you can have it go just a little bit deeper this way as you can see I can if I move it more it's not gonna go quite as deep into that cut pad if I moved it more this way so if you want it to go deeper in your cut pad you can just tap this down just a hair this tap this first tap this first metal tab you can go down just a hair with it a degree a couple degrees or something down downwards and that blade will go deeper into the cut pad if like the last few sheets of your stack are not being cut Okay, um, now let's see this one here. We'll mess, we'll mess with it if it's off and show you what it does. So, so when the, you when the, you push the blade, the the cut buttons, this is going to rotate this way, because this is rotating that way. It's going to rotate around the, and it will stop about here when it, when this one gets sensed by that sensor. And as it's coming back, it's going to hit this one. It's going to tell it where to stop. Now, if I were to go back, if I were to go this way with it, let's see. If I were to go this way with it like that. It's gonna it's gonna be further this way and it's gonna take longer to get this so it's gonna take longer for it to sense it. So what's gonna happen here if it's too far that way? If it's too far this way, it's gonna take longer when it when it goes this, it's, when it's coming back, it's gonna take longer to get to this sensor. So the blade's gonna go to the top and come halfway down and or part way down. And I'll show it to you now. It's gonna stop like it should because the first one we didn't mess with. You see how it came to the top and, and wrote, came down too far? That's because we just we messed with that sensor, that tab. Okay, so now since it's going too far, we need it to stop sooner. 
we need to, when, this is gonna go this way, and it's gonna come back, so we need it to get to here quicker, so we're gonna go that way with it. And if we go this way with it, it will get sensed by this sensor sooner. I'll do it too much to where it doesn't go up, up enough, so it gets sensed way too late. So you can see what it looks like when that happens. Let's, let's start that again. I may have got it where it's supposed to be. It stops way too... It's, I mean, it's not bad, but it stops about here and the momentum carries it up, so... It's, it's stopping too short, and I'll do a little bit more just to show it to you. So... This, we want it to stop sooner. We're going to bring it closer like that. It's gone way too low now. Okay, I'm just going to um, try to position it correctly on this now. Last thing we did, it wasn't going up high enough, so it needs to allow it to travel more, so I'm going to go down this way with it. I'm just gonna guess right now. It's probably not enough. Let's see. It's close, but let's see if it when you're doing a cut it might go uh uh at the start. Yeah, wasn't too bad. That's pretty close right there. It stops about the top. I think I can get it up just a hair higher if I want it to, but that's pretty close. So you get the idea on those things. Basically, you see what happens if that if this is not plugged in, it's F3 or F4 sensor. I think it's an F4 sensor fault. If this thing is hanging and doesn't and not allowing it to go through this sensor, you can get an F3. If this is hanging and not allowing it to go through the sensor, you can get an F. Or maybe this is broken or something like that because this tab hit it. You gotta check things, make sure this looks nice. You can get a good look at what it's supposed to look like. Here, hold that. Let me give them a, I think we had one here. This is what the sensor looks like. And you can tell it's got these two towers. Two different ones that it goes goes between. I'm just gonna make sure nothing's broken on it. Like if one of those tabs came around and hit this and broke it or something. These sensors here would be your sensor if you had to replace it if it was bad. Okay, but um, most of the time they we've never really had one go bad. They're not really something that goes bad often, but you just gotta check your plug, check these tabs, make sure they're Move them up and see if you can move them up and down. You, they should be um, stiff and not move at all. And they should go right in the center of it. You don't want to hit the edge of it or something, but they should go right in the center. And that's pretty much it. These are this is this is for when it goes down. It tells it when to stop when it goes down. And this one tells it when to stop when as it comes up. Basically, your positioning sensors. And up here front, one other thing. If you open up your electronics department, and I got this on. You don't want to be sticking your hand here when it's on, but I've done this a bunch, so I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, these two here, it's, it's on the board. Let's see. This one here is a plug with a single one in it. It's number P62, no 63. And this is 62 here. These two here is that one plug back there. They split it up into two. Three of the wires go into this plug, and the other wire goes into this plug by itself. But if these two are unplugged or messed up, it could be, you could be getting that F3, F4 sensor fault. Also, if you had a bad main board, you could be getting the F3, F4 sensor fault. But as far as the positioning where the blade starts and stops, that's all has to do with that sensor and mainly those um, t metal tabs, the adjustments of those metal tabs. And that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything on that. This video was published by nbkpinternational.com.